Eight minutes and 45 seconds. I hate this fucking 10 minute roll. But what I have to say might take three minutes, so I don't want to fucking go over and have it. Ugh. Okay. Alright. Well, I'm not bashing the Glock, obviously. I'm not bashing any particular person. Lima Life knows a lot more about guns than most people do. Firearms instructor, former firearms dealer. Okay, she's had a lot of experience with guns. She knows what she's talking about when she fires the fucking thing. So you can't blame her for saying, hey, honey, you know what you're doing. No. She knew what she was doing. She was firing the fucking gun. Okay? Gun came right out of the box, brand new, and had five problems. This gun is called, my dealer calls this gun cop proof. He himself is a cop. Cop is another word for idiot. Yeah, I know. Cops call each other idiot all the time. It's not personal. But it's cop proof. It's idiot proof. These guns have been beaten. They've been tortured. There was a guy on YouTube a couple of years ago. Years ago. I, used to see his, I saw his videos. Like when I, Before I even looked at YouTube, I saw his videos. He has a Generation 1 Glock 21 45 caliber ACP. He tortured the fucking thing. He literally dunked it in water and fired it. He literally dunked it in water and fired it under the water. He literally buried it in dirt, dug it up and fired it. Um, you know chalk, powdered chalk? You ever see like gymnasts? They go over to that giant bowl and they dig in the giant bowl and they put that white shit on their hands and then they throw it down on the floor and they walk on it so their hands and feet are pure white. That's called powdered chalk. He took it and put it in powdered chalk and fired it. He beat it with a goddamn hammer and fired it. Okay? He tortured the goddamn gun and he could not break it. So when a gun comes out of the box brand new and has five problems, I get worried. Okay? The odds of you being involved in a gunfight are like 1 in 20,000. If you know, if you have 100 police officers, in a major city may, that work 20 years apiece, maybe four of them will be involved in a gunfight. Okay? It's not like it is on television where the hero kills 50 guys with a credits roll. But in the event that you are in a gunfight, whether you're a cop, whether you're a citizen, whether the guy's attacking you on the street, whether the guy's attacking you in your home, whether the guy is a serial killer trying to kidnap a, a victim, if you must use the gun, it must work. It cannot fuck up. Because when it fucks up, you die. Look at the seatbelt. Would you drive a car with a seatbelt that was malfunctioning? You might not get into an accident, but if you do, you're going to die. Your car monoxide detector. Those batteries have to work. Because if they don't, and car monoxide happens, you die. Sprinklers. How often you can have a fire? Very rarely. But if you have a fire and the sprinklers don't work, you die. Okay? That is the problem with emergency equipment. Because if it fucks up, Murphy's Law says it will fuck up at the last worst possible minute. Okay? Murphy's Law. Whatever can go wrong, will go wrong, and at the last possible minute. Now, I hope to God, I must say it 12 times already, I hope to God that was a fluke gun. I hope to God the problem's fixed. I hope to God no Glock owner ever has that problem again. Now, that being said, you are all more than welcome to leave your comments here. What are your experiences with the Glock, your Glock, any Glock, any Glock generation, any Glock size, any Glock caliber? Your, your gun for duty, your gun for home defense, your gun for hunting, any Glock you have, you're more than welcome to comment or leave a video response and tell me your story. Is it great? Does it fuck up? What are the problems? Okay? And my hope is that we can understand why this is going on why this one incident happened. My hope is that we can all get together and hopefully we'll know that this is an isolated incident. But God forbid it's not an isolated incident. God forbid there are more Generation Force fucking up. Hopefully Glock will fix the problem. Because these are great guns. They're actually very cheap. The MSRP on this is about $600. You get it a lot cheaper from your dealer. Most guns are $700, $800. So this is both cheap and reliable, and it's very easy to use. So I would hate to see this gun go down in history. I would hate to see it fuck up, and I hope to Christ it was a once-in-a-lifetime event. That being said, what are your thoughts?